The family of a missing man is hoping someone will see our story tonight and help find him. WGNO's Rick Gogreve spoke with one of those relatives and has that story. Rick. Well, Kurt, after searching for six months, a family is desperate to find any answers on where their missing relative went. I spoke with his grandmother today who says they are just hoping he is out there safe and will be back home soon. New Orleans resident Frances Moore and her family have been searching for her missing grandson Johnny Leonard III since January, but have little to show for their efforts. Leonard was placed in a mental hospital institution for multiple years in Mandeville before being transferred to a group home organization because it was the mental hospital that placed him with the group home, not his family. The organization had little contact with the family. Of course, you know, recognize that he was 30 some years old and therefore probably speaking for himself and they Therefore, not having as much interaction with the family as one would think. Leonard went missing once before a couple of years ago after an incident that left two of his housemates dead. He was later found, but his family believes this left him fearful about staying in those homes and ultimately led him to leaving again December 2nd of 2022. We think just some fear came up. You know, you, you wake up and all of a sudden you see somebody deceased, two of them. And so it just kind of spooked him out is what we actually believe happened. In his mind, you know, you've had that experience, so you don't know. You, you don't know how these people passed or whatever, so you're not going to take the chance, you know, on it being you, you know, in, in a, with a mental health issue as such as that. While he went missing in December, his family had no idea he left at all until a month after. Had the grandchildren and his brother, his, his aunt and his brother not come down in January, we don't know that we would have even known that he was missing. Now almost half a year later and the family is left with more questions than answers and are hoping for some of them to be answered soon. The desire is to have him be found live and that's what we are praying for, trusting that Lord will help us to locate him.